was it like growing up in your family? Uh, it was a bit, look, it was interesting because my, both my parents had been involved in the Second World War. Right. And, uh, and they obviously didn't have much money either. And so I think, you know, that, that impacted on both of them. Of them. They didn't yeah. talk about it a lot. Um, Dad probably more than Mum. But so it was a family that uh, struggled, I think, would be, you know, I, I never thought we were poor, but I, but I think, you know, we didn't, didn't have a lot of money. Mum worked. I went to kindergarten when I think I was about... Um, 15 months old which is not what people oh, did in those days and right so like me like a crate that's like it. a child care. yeah like a child care place yeah and right. and my brother and I both went he's uh, I have a brother who's about 12 14 months older than me right so we both kind of went um pretty early for those days and yeah okay but I loved it um and I mean I, I remember going and I remember you know not ever being kind of concerned because it yeah, was a whole lot right. of people to play with so yeah. look it was it was an interesting time we lived near the beach then eventually they were able to buy a house and moved when I was about um, five, I think, up, yeah, right. up to where they still live. And did they talk, because my dad um, fought in the Vietnam War. Right. Mm. And so many, obviously, issues come yeah. with what they experienced. Yep. And only now is he dealing with it. Yeah. So many years on. Mm. Did you, do you feel that it really affected the way that they, I guess... I think mum, mum never really talked about it much at all and, and it took a while, actually it took an, until um, we were researching my book that you know, the journalist I was working with, Joe Chandler, kind of went back and looked to see what Betty's kind of service history had been. And right. So, we so did, you didn't know what your mum's involvement well, she knew, was? We knew she, she used to talk about places where she was trained but she never actually talked about what she did. I mean, she was obviously a nurse, you know, kind of... Yeah. Um, in that in that process she never went overseas so she was always based here but she often saw the consequences of yeah. people coming back and so and then dad was in uh corvettes which were only tiny little boats that are about the size of manly ferries and you know quite little right. and uh he went up to into the pacific and they did mine sweeping and um wow. so he talked about about some of that and and so i suppose it always had an effect and of course nowadays uh, interestingly, he he has a lot to do with. He's very interested in the in the war and has yeah. gone back. I don't think it had an effect on him, but they were, you know, that generation. Yeah. Uh, so they're both mums, nearly ninety, dads. Wow. Um, uh, um, I better get it right. He'll be unhappy. With yeah. Eighty seven. Um, right. You know, it was affected, you know, one lot of money. There was a lot of people coming back after the war. There was a lot of change went on, yeah. I think. You know, it, and they were also very um, much of the generation, you know, you didn't have debt. Right. Uh, it was hard for them to get a loan for a house. And 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 so they worked hard. And it was, um, and, and I guess what they instilled then, the effect it had on me, you know, cutting to the chase was uh, that, you know, you you knew that money was valuable, that it wasn't to be wasted, and yeah. there were special treats occasionally. But but you knew that that was just kind of you know they were special, and it wasn't every day to to get this or that or get those lollies or whatever. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. But it makes things almost more like I look back and um, mum was a single parent, and we mm. I look back and go, oh my God, we had no money. Yeah. But you kind of mm. don't know any no, different, you don't. No. and you re- no. like you look you and go, oh, that was so cool. And we would get a show bag, yeah, and you know it. things like <laughs> that right. mean more than if you. Yeah. get it all the time yeah and I think that it's an interesting way I, I suppose there's a line that says if you never had it you never missed it yeah and I used to think we did okay and you know we had uniforms to go to school and we we had enough to eat and yeah you know, those fundamentals and because we had to walk miles and miles to get to where we lived or to get a bus you um that was just the way it was I mean yeah you about having to walk but it yeah. was uh, part of but I grew up in a, a small community and and it, it was a new community, but I mean, it was very close to Manly and Sydney. Right. And these days, it's only fifteen minutes, you know, from town. But it was a new community where lots of them had been involved in the war. And I think what I saw there was a brand new school, and it just had six classes in it, and they just built the school, you know. So right. and then they just built the shops. And my parents were very much involved in, you know, mum particularly in building the church and getting raising money to do that. Right. And then um, so they kind of were part of creating, you know, golf courses and tennis courses. Yeah, courts. right. So it was a growing community. So the impact, I suppose, on me, you know, was, was benefiting from all of that. And, yeah. And also a lot of freedom. Right. Enormous amount of freedom when I was young. Too. Really? Yeah. Well, like, they, what do you... Because your parents were so busy working. Yeah, then. it was like, get on with it. You know, you have to go and do things. So mum would give us a shopping list and at seven we would, you know, hop on the bus and go shopping on Friday afternoons and go yeah, pick everything right. up. And, 
um, we would at spend seven. Yeah, like I, I look at seven year olds now and think, oh my god, you know. But it was just that's what you did. Yeah, and, and you had chores, and you know, from whatever age, you know, we yeah. we knew that you had responsibilities because mum was working. Yeah, and so uh, I suppose it gave me a real sense of independence, and like my friends' parents used to let me take my friends. To town on the ferry because I couldn't trust her own kids, but they figured they, they could trust me with the kids. Yeah, and we did, you know, and that was kind of, um, I suppose, partly, you know, that's where I started to to get this kind of view of being in charge. And, yeah, and so, right. It started when you were seven, getting on. Yeah, going my mother and doing would tell me. Yeah, yeah. my mother would tell you, I, you know, I wanted to be bossy at, at five. Yeah. And she said it wouldn't change either, I don't think. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, you can take charge here and you can be responsible. And yeah. Sometimes it didn't work out, you know, but mostly it did. Yeah. And so that would be from that, I guess, that freedom you got in kind of growing up quite it young. Was. And, you know, you learn boundaries and, and, you know, we would, like summer, we would go to the beach at Manly and we'd be there the whole day. Yeah. And then mum would finish work at five o'clock and we'd go and meet her and come home. And, yeah. You know, like nobody bothered and we didn't get bothered no. by anybody either. Uh, but it would be my friends and my, and my brother or, you know, a group of people. And that was kind of the way we grew up. So it was a great time. We yeah. swam and surfed and, and uh, it was a lovely part of sort of growing up to experience all of that. Yeah. I met somebody yesterday who's a nanny of a 15-year-old. Mm-hmm. Right. I was like, 15? Could you, if my mum got somebody to look yeah. after me and I was 15, I'd be like, something's wrong here. Yeah. Why, like, seriously? Your mum didn't have someone for no, you when you were no, seven. No. This was like, <laughs> no. And, you know, you walked home, you got the bus home. You, yeah. You know, all of the, those things. And I just think it is about that responsibility that, that uh, well, I certainly was given it.